actually, I think, going to see some sunshine today. Oh. So we didn't see yesterday, but that will actually fuel thunderstorms, I believe, for the afternoon hours. Uh, before we get to that, we're going to start off with uh, where we are in the tropics. Again, you can see what's happening down there. Now, look, this is not very organized at the moment. It looks impressive. It's not. The low is actually right here and all the convections to the east. But as it gets up into the Gulf of Mexico, I fear there's going to be rapid intensification over the next 48 hours. So again, this is going to be a big problem for Florida and much of the southeast over time. We're 71 in Uptown Charlotte now, 74 at the airport over to Mallard Creek, Hickory Grove, 73 Ballantyne, 73 Steel Creek, Belmont up to Dallas, Denver, Westport, and 73 now over towards Kannapolis. It's 72 in Concord, 72 in Monroe, and 71 in Shelby. So out there this morning, we're in the 70s, a muggy start, not much chance for rain. There's some rain in the mountains, but the rest of us are dry. Then storms will develop this afternoon as we get into the 80s. These clouds are going to break some, and you'll see that here on our future cast. We had some big downpours in the mountains and the foothills yesterday. I think there'll be more there again for today. And keep in mind that the National Weather Service has sort of hashed our entire area in a level one concern. So any of these downpours could bring heavy rain, strong winds, and even some localized flooding. So now let's turn our attention to the tropics. Again, that's going to become a big issue over time. In the meantime, though, the rain that we get in advance of it will be because of this front frontal system, this stalled frontal system back to the west. That's actually going to help to steer this thing northward into Florida and Georgia and then eventually bring it back westward over time. So here's the track on this coming into the Gulf of Mexico, gaining strength all along. That's a category three major hurricane making landfall Thursday evening. Then from there it peels back towards the north and west into the Ohio Valley in the Midwest, but it is still a tropical storm coming up through Georgia. So Friday morning we stand to have a lot of rain and wind here and gusty winds will actually I think start on Thursday evening. By the time this all winds down, there could be quite a bit of rain in our area, several inches. Again, we'll get some specific data as we get a little bit closer to it, but that's why we've got a first alert weather day. Wind and rain, and some of this will be heavy at times, really starting probably Thursday night into Friday. I think the weekend brings much drier conditions with much lower rain chances. 82 Saturday, 78 for the Panthers game on Sunday. High temperature today, 84 degrees.